I know you also want to talk about like specific steps that you can take to become that future internal auditor. Do you have any, um, any more um, practical for the people that are listening that can say, okay, I'm going to go do this thing. So going back to what I was covering initially about modular learning, using modern resources, uh, one thing I, I failed to mention is we, we have to prioritize how important it is to learn new stuff. Because again, my, my fancy visualization. <laughs> um, so I remember years ago coming across some Bureau of Labor Statistics survey on how many hours the typical, the average American spends on entertain, entertainment and TV. And it was like six hours a day on entertainment. So, so great for those of us are Netflix shareholders. Right. Um, <laughs> so six hours a day on entertainment and three on watching TV, uh, three hours a day, right? So imagine if you cut that by half, if you spend one and a half hour a day watching TV, an hour and a half, or even just one hour a day learning new things, what, what a difference that's going to make for you, what an invest that, that is going to be for you in the long run. So we have to find a way to, to embed that in our, in our culture, learning new things, learning often. And you have to write this stuff down. If you, for the same reason, somebody would say to you, Trent, you want to be an entrepreneur, write a business plan. Let that be step one. Now, at the same time, obviously, the business plan isn't the requirement or the condition to be successful. Mm -hmm. But it's going to make you think about things you probably hadn't thought about before. It'll at least minimize the uncertainty for you. Same thing with learning. Create a, a, a learning plan. Make it a one, two, three strategic plan. Be the CEO of your learning experience. And you got to be ready to pay up. You know, don't limit your educational growth by the tuition reimbursement of your company. Don't limit it by the reimbursable scope of stuff for your company. Uh, I would say to people, allocate money for, for learning new things like you were for planning a vacation. Absolutely. You know, I, I do uh, 100 bucks a month max, and I tend to spend no more than 40 or 50 a month for learning new things. I have a $300 subscription to one of those servers I mentioned to you earlier that gives me access to virtual machines and virtual labs because I use them all the time to continuously stay up where there's learning more about cloud or this or that. And those are really powerful resources. That's an investment. 